Logan Mart, you should be driving down through here, you turn it sideways, you come in with the cutters and nip this door. Not all the way, just right there. All right, once that's cut, the cutter man steps back. Bring this, pull it down. Pull this down. John, I want the spreaders right here vertical. Drive it down and out, so up a little bit. Up a little bit. There you go. Placement of the spreaders here keeps it away from the patient. If we go to the other side and we do the vertical crush, we're towards the patient. Alright, that's good. So what we've done is we've created a purchase point right here by our hinge. Jonathan's going to reduce the spreader come vertical right here by this hinge plate. Yep. I like it already. Let me get out of your way, Jerry Ross. No, you're good. Come vertical right here. Do what you can do. Alright, go down a little bit. Go right on that hinge. Drive this door down, pull this hinge out. Keep going. All right, now come down a little lower. Our goal here is to drive the door down and out. Down to the hinge. You want your spreaders to go to about a three-quarter spread. What's the shadow? It's all right. It's all right. You get the idea. <laughs> Once our hand is loose, we grab. He's going to drive this out. Keep going. All right. He's gonna reach and grab this side of the door with the spreaders. Just pinch right here. Get ready on the cutter. Okay. Hey, three quarters. Pinch that down. Now we're gonna use the spreaders as a lever. Okay. I'm gonna help him, and we're gonna pry this thing back. doesn't break like this, I'll on this side, over here, over here. We're going to go to 90. We're going to come all the way back. That is expose our hinge. Hang on, Bob. Let Bob look at that. Let's expose our nader pin so we get our cutter in here.